I can start off. Uh, Kelsey Rosley Athletic, Kate Karras, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Um, obviously, you guys not getting the result you wanted last night, but when you evaluate um, this season as a whole and look forward to next season, like what excites you about the potential of where you guys can go as a group um, next year? Um, I think a couple of things. The fact that, you know, that was this team's first time being in a, a playoff type of, you know, atmosphere game um, with such a young team. Um, and we, we handled it extremely well. You know, we didn't come out with the outcome we wanted to, but um, we played extremely well. We played extremely hard. We rose to the moment, to the occasion. Um, and I think that was my first time playing with everyone healthy at the same time. Um, so it was, a, it was a different feel out there. Um, and I know that we're all looking forward to this summer and getting better um, and carrying it on into next year. And how was um, your like exit interview conversation with JB um, just to close out the year and, and sort of heading into the summer? Um, how do you feel personally about where you are at with this team? I feel great about where I'm at, you know. Um, you know, we j actually just talked about anytime you have a, a trade, a midseason trade, um, it's tough. Um, but, you know, this team made it a lot easier on me um, just with, you know, um, learning the system and, you know, learning uh, my teammates' tendencies and things like that. Um, but I think, you know, another summer under our belts, uh, just being around each other a lot more will really help us going forward. Thank you. Chris. Chris Vidor, Cleveland.com. Hey, Karis, what's up, man? What's up, man? Hey, um, what did you take from, from your exit meeting with JB? Um, the exit meeting, honestly, was extremely light. Um, it was kind of just a check-in. I think we'll do a more in-depth one in a couple of days. Um, but, you know, like I said, it was more so just um, thank you um, from both sides. Um, and like I said, the, the more in-depth one will be in a couple of days. And Karis, how important would it be for you to get a contract extension with the Cavs and know this is where you're going to be for a number of years moving forward? Yeah, this is where I want to be. Um, they know that, you know, the front office knows that, my teammates know that. So um, I don't know, you know, what's going to happen with that um, contract um, extension, um, but I know where my heart is. I know where I want to be. Um, so we'll see what, what happens going forward. And for you guys as a group, as a team, how do you take that next step? I think everybody getting better. Um, and that's that may be cliche, but I think everyone if everyone takes, you know, a step or two forward um, and we grow together, um, I think that, you know, we'll be that much better. I think we were a really good team this season. Um, but if everyone keeps growing and keeps building in the same direction um, and we stay together, I think uh, the sky's the limit for this group. Thanks, man. Appreciated the interactions this year. Yeah, no doubt. Tom, go ahead. Hey, Karis, it, it had been a long time since we felt that building like that last night. What was that experience like? Man, it's been a couple of years since I played in a game like that, to be honest. Um, just like it was it was obviously very intense. The crowd was into it, but it was like a, it was a good game, too. You know, so um, it was it was definitely super fun playing in that type of game. Um, just being a, a fan of the game of basketball, um, a student of the game, like it was it was everything you could you could ask for except getting the win, you know. Um, but I had never played um, in the arena um, when the fans were like that before, you know. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to be a part of more experiences like that for sure. You, you mentioned before that that was kind of the first time you were out there with everybody healthy, which is just hard to kind of get your <laughs> get your yeah. head at all. Um, do, do you think did did that hurt you guys most? Um, the fact that there wasn't this ability to to gel over a longer period of time, do you think that's what maybe prevented you guys from getting to the next step this year? Yeah, you know, um, injuries is a part of the game. Um, and you never want to blame anything on that. But um, I think that definitely down the stretch, I think the timing of the injuries kind of messed with the chemistry a little bit, um, as well as me coming in, you know, three quarters of the way through the season, you know, the trade deadline, I think used to be closer to halfway, but now it's, right. it's like kind of at the end of the season now. So, um, I mean, it was, a, it was definitely a lot of things combined, but I think that 
all in all, the experience will help us going forward. Enjoy your time. Thanks for everything. Yeah, thank you. Marla. Marla right now, Akron Beacon Journal. Yeah, Karis, you said you want to be here. What stands out most about why you want to be here? <clears throat> um, I think first and foremost, just the people in the organization, um, from the staff to the players, um, to everyone, coaches, everyone. Um, and then, you know, the talent level, the skill level, um, the competitiveness of the group. Um, I think, you know, it meets everything. Um, and as a player, you want to play with guys who are, you know, extremely talented, um, you know, obviously a good team um, and then good guys off the court. So, um, like I said, I, this is where I want to be. And just when you think about you coming here, it seemed like you were just maybe hitting your stride and then you got hurt. I mean, do you feel like we'll see a different Karis, you know, next season when you're able to, you know, have a whole camp with these guys and show more what you can do? Yeah, I know you will. I know you definitely will see a different, a different me. Um, and I can't wait for that. I know this summer will be, you know, huge for everyone, but huge for myself as well. Um, and, you know, it's a lot that I want to, you know, kind of tackle and get started on. So um, I'm excited about the opportunity. Thanks a lot for your help this year. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Spencer, go ahead. Spencer Davies, basketballnews.com. Hey, Karis, I know you weren't here before uh, the season started, but this is a team that wasn't used to playing with big leads and, and leads in general. Um, if there's something you could take away from how you guys need to play when you do have that advantage uh, going into next year, what would you say it would be? I would say, uh, you know, basketball is a game of runs, um, you know. So if we make a run early, we have to expect that, you know, the other team is going to make one. Or if the other team makes a run, we have to expect that we're going to make one. So um, I think just growing as a group, growing our basketball IQ, um, growing our awareness of the game, I think all of that will be huge for us going forward. And speaking of, you know, coming into a team midseason and a trade, you know, a lot of people don't look at the human element of that. But what will an offseason with this team do for you um, just from a mental standpoint and also just kind of growing that chemistry both on and off the floor? It'll be huge. You know, you get more comfortable um, with, you know, people in general, um, the longer you're around them um, and you feel more like yourself, you play more like yourself. Um, so I think just like you said, the human element of it. Um, you can't really do anything about that, but, you know, just be around the group longer. Um, and I think just for me, diving into those relationships this summer and being around the guys a lot um, while still working on my game, I think it'll be huge. Christoph. Hello, Karis. Christoph Dallas says the Negris. Hope you're doing well. Uh, after those, the two trades in the last couple of years, how important for you is to find the place that you can call it home? I'm sorry, what was your question? How important Outfit. for you after the two years, uh, two trades in the last couple of years from Brooklyn to Indiana and from Indiana to Cleveland is to find the place that you can call it home to stay very, for years and... Uh... Yeah, very much so, very much so. Um, like I said, I um, I definitely want to be here um, and I definitely want to call this spot home. So um, <clears throat> we'll see what happens, you know, in the future, uh, but that's super important to me, you know. I don't think anyone likes moving around, um, especially, you know, every couple of months. Um, so uh, we'll see what happens for sure. And also speaking about uh, the team and what did you see from the team in the, in the practices and the games as well? What makes you confident about the future of this franchise? I think you can see it right away. Um, you know, we have a young team, but a lot of uh, a lot of talent. Um, and then guys want to be great. Guys want to get better each and every day. Um, and guys want to play in those big moments. So uh, when you combine that with the type of people that they are, I think you see uh, why the future is so bright for this team. Thank you very much. Have a great tough season. Thank you. Chris, last one. Harris, leaving this season, is there any feeling about you guys not getting the opportunity to, to know how good you could be or show how good you could be? And if that is the case, like how does that sit with you heading into the off season? I think that um, that's definitely the case. You know, I think we, like I said, we play one game together, all of us, um, and that was last night. So um, I think that obviously, 
you know, people didn't see our best best, but I think that'll light a fire under us um, and make us go that much harder this summer because we know we should still be playing right now. We're good enough to still be playing right now. So um, I think every day in our workouts had a lot of fire under us um, and just make us want it that much more for next year. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Chris. Thank you.